The first exercise we're gonna talk about is broad jumps. This study did a sample of 27 college track athletes that tested their bilateral broad jump. So that's two foot broad jump. And it showed a 60 plus percent correlation to their acceleration sprint times from five meters to 30 meters. For the reps and sets, I would do two to four sets and four to six reps with about two minutes in between every single set. And then maybe 20 to 30 seconds between every single rep. And then I would do this one to two times per week and try to put these on your acceleration days where you're focusing on your short acceleration sprints. Quick tip for the broad jumps, I would do eccentric broad jumps. So this is where you lower for three to five seconds on two feet. And I'll also do one foot eccentric broad jumps where you lower for three to five seconds and then you explode forward as fast as possible. This is gonna give you even more of a benefit to your acceleration sprints. I do this in a just sprint program and people love this exercise. The next exercise is flying 10. So this study showed that flying sprints have high correlation to your max velocity sprint speed. And the goal is to reach the highest amount of velocity that you could possibly reach and then do it again after you do a lot of rest. The run up distances usually range from 20 to 60 meters and you can build up. And then once you hit it and you hit the cone, you're gonna run as fast as possible for about 10 meters from cone to cone and time each sprint. I would do four to 10 sets of one flying 10 for each set. So after you do one flying 10, you're gonna rest for about three to four minutes and then you're gonna do another flying 10 and make sure every single one is timed. Now, when you're timing them, the second you drop off by 1%, then you're gonna cut off the workout and your workout's done. I would usually train your max velocity in the flying 10s about one to two times per week. I wouldn't ever go past two. If you're liking these exercises so far, please hit the like button. The next exercise is weighted squat jumps. This study did two groups. Group one did 30% of their body weight in weight and group two did 80% of their body weight in weight and they trained squat jumps for eight weeks straight. The study showed significant increases in your acceleration sprint speed when you do the 30% and below weight. And I also see this in my data with all the athletes that I train myself. I would do this two to three sets with six to eight reps. And you can even go to the higher rep range, maybe eight to 12 reps instead of six to eight. But if you're going for max power, we want to stay in that four to eight rep range is very good for optimal power. And I would usually do this about one to two times per week, especially on your acceleration days. Now, a quick tip that you wanna know is that you can actually use elastic bands instead of literal weight. What elastic bands do is they give you more resistance at the top, so it's called dynamic loading, and you're also getting more eccentric overload and eccentric overload is great for your stretch shortening cycle, which we're gonna talk about later in this video. That is the most important thing to your sprint speed. The next exercise is bounds. This study explained that it helped you access the ability to utilize your stretch shortening cycle and your max sprint performance. The study showed that the better the athletes can utilize the stretch shortening cycle, the more the 30 to 50 meter sprint times decreased. And since bounds are one of the best ways to improve the stretch shortening cycle, now we have a recipe for success. For bounding, I would do three to six sets of one to two reps. For each rep, you're gonna do 20 to 30 meters worth of distance. And once you complete it, that's one full rep. These exercises are super intense and they're gonna give you a lot of benefits, but you have to rest a lot. So three to five minute rest between each set and about one minute rest between each actual bound rep. And then obviously these pair well with max velocity sprint days. So I would do these one to two times with your max velocity sprint sessions. There's some couple variations that are really good for sprinting. Um, stuff like lateral bounds are really good for acceleration sprints. Alternating bounds where you go left, left, right, right are really good for acceleration sprints and your max velocity. And speed bounding is the most potent exercise for improving your max velocity sprints. The most controversial, but possibly the most effective exercise is the single leg deadlift. In this study, they did three weeks of deadlift training with three sets to seven reps for each leg on the single leg deadlift. At the end of the study, it showed a substantial increase in acceleration sprint speed, vertical jump, and change of direction performance. I would do two to four sets and four to eight reps for each leg. I would usually go around 40 to 60% of your one rep max so you can get more optimal power development. If you don't like deadlifts, tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite lift for improving your speed? If you learned anything in this video, please hit the like button right here. And then also you can check out this video right here where you learn about your mentality for athleticism.